We are still in filler. Mm-hmm. And, and it time- shows. Yeah, and it's time to learn about cats and kitties and big rats. And second loves. All rats. All rats. All rats. That's what we're talking about today here on Jared to Now Watch in Yasha. It is episode 92. I'm Jared, joined as always by Doc Allen, Lady M. Hello. We are discussing season four, episode number nine, or episode 91, entitled The Suspicious Faith Healer and the Black Kirara. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's Even what though we're it's do- not really a Black Kirara. It's just a similar cat. <laughs> has it, it, it's it's got a black um piece of fluff around yes. its neck oh god i can't talk today what the hell am i saying i guess we don't know if it has the same abilities that kirara does yeah because it never transforms but it looks just like kirara it just has fur that's black around its neck mm-hmm. that's what i'm trying to say yes uh we get a very brief recap of how inuyasha and kagome are back in the feudal yep. era and then that's it. And then everybody calls Inuyasha dumb. Yes. Because he's like, well, it's a good thing we're back now. <laughs> I'm going to do all that stupid stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, well, I'm sorry my cold was trivial to you. Yep. And then literally everyone in the party's like, oh, my God, you're such a dumbass. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like, they're not wrong. It's true. Uh, we and- go to a... Sorry. I was going to say, and then he's, like, trying to distract her. by like, oh, is, I'm going to run off this way because this is definitely where Naraku is. Yep. <laughs> no one's like, oh, God. Oh, God. So, yeah, we uh, we go to a village where there's a cat who has supposedly been keeping this, this village, you know, harm-free from, like, rats and mice and stuff like that. And then this dude comes in and is like, hey, these cats are bad, bad luck. You should get rid of it. Force it out of here. Get out of like, here, kitties. Okay, this sounds all right. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, we see this little girl trying to find this cat who the, she calls Kiroro. Meanwhile, Shippo is out trying to find Kirara because Kirara is just like roaming through the the forest. Uh, they run into each other and this girl thinks Kirara is, is Kiroro. And Shippo's like, no, this is Kirara. This is Kirara. What are you talking about? And then some villagers she says it like six yeah. times, and she's like, "Oh, I'm ignoring <laughs> you, and I'm gonna put this little bell on on Kilala, Kirara." And then these villagers show up, and like, oh, "I thought we we push this this cat further out, and let's throw these rocks at these kids." <laughs> you know, normal behavior yeah. to just stone children. Yeah. So she was just like, "Stop doing this!" And they keep throwing rocks at them. And Inuyasha and the gang show up, and uh, Baroku's like, "I got this." Gentlemen, violence is not the answer. And they start throwing rocks at him. He's like, I'm going to beat these dudes up. And then some just normal old looking guys like, hey, can you guys stop this? You're being real dumb. And they're like, oh, okay. Sorry. I do like this song. It's like, that's not very monkly behavior. Of yeah. you. It's like, what about him is monkly behavior? I mean, honestly? Sometimes he does pull that off. Sometimes, but like. That dude, that dude's sus. Yes. Uh, the old dude brings Indiasha's group to, I guess, the village, and he's like, hey, here's he's what happens. He's a regular guy. Uh, there's this dude named Tesso, and he's, like, real weird, and he forced the cat out, and that was real strange. You should probably go investigate that. And then we see this dude being like, Arr, I'm doing shady things in a house. Arr, look at my big saying buck slurs. teeth. <laughs> saying slurs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Shippo sneaks out and he finds the girl again and she's still looking for the cat and he's like I'll help you I will help you find this cat um, eventually they oh, find blushy. the cat yeah he gets all mm-hmm. blushy eventually they find the cat and then they get they have to run away from a horde of rats from this dude who summoned the a giant horde of rats um, yeah I should do yeah. and Yasha and the gang find a demonic aura rising up and they're like well that's weird we should go investigate that and they go to this house. Well, they, the house has a barrier around there with the little building. It has a little barrier around it. So Inuyasha just destroys that real quickly. And then giant rat demon shows up and is like, ha, 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 I'm a rat demon. How are you going to defeat me? <laughs> uh, Inuyasha uses the wind scar, but it just it defeats it. And then immediately the dude comes back. He's like, ha, ha. And Roku's like, hey, you should, uh, I don't think your normal attacks are going to work. I don't think this is actually like the real dude. So we got to figure this out. He just first try to wind tunnel it and then fails. Yes. 
because the wind tunnel very very well he was going to wind tunnel it but then he just the dude just like flies away in a cloud of smoke right and he's like oh okay okay uh shippo and kome the little girl are have found like i said kuroro and kuroro leads them to a little cave where Kuro's little kitties have shown up and are like, hello, we're kitties. Meow, meow, meow. She made babies. And then Tesso shows up and is like, I smell a human child. I want to eat it. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 uh, Kuroro tries to fend, the, fend it off, but gets beat up in the process. Um, and this dude fires a giant rat beam and causes a cave-in for Shippo and Kobe. Mm-hmm. So Shippo has to like claw his way out apparently instead of just picking up rocks and moving them. <laughs> you know. Also, like things. at one point, injures like his claw and Kome like sucks on his finger. I'm like, this is weird. Why is this happening? <laughs> I'm gonna hold these cats and they're gonna have very derpy faces. <laughs> oh my god, they have the derpiest faces. They're so funny. It's very good. It's very good. I mean, uh, kittens are derpy, so it's true. Sense. Uh, eventually, they're able to find their way out, but Ratman's still just hanging out there, like, "Hey, give me that, give me that human kid. I want to eat it." I'm not, I'm not. And she's like, "No." And he's like, "Oh, wait a minute. There's a, there's the scratch that Kuroro put on your face is gone. Hmm." Hmm. And Yasha shows up, and Chip is like, "It's an illusion." And it's like, and Yasha should have already known this by now. I was like, "Whoa." Yep. Roku like throws his scribble paper. <laughs> yeah, he just flink throws it, and it eventually just lands on a rock. And he's like, "Hey." Hit that rock over there. <laughs> and Yasha hits the rock and then it kills the dude and then everyone's like, yay. Also, like, Kome and Shippo were apparently running out of air even though they've been in there for like 30 minutes. Yeah, it was going to kill them. So that was weird. But yeah, the, the three kittens were like, whoa, this is cool. Uh, they head back to the village and everyone's all happy. Mm-hmm. Kome has the kitties and Kuroro, and she's like, "You're never. We're gonna be together forever." Mm-hmm. And then Inuyasha and the gang leave, and he makes fun of Shippo for having a crush on this girl. And Shippo's just like, "I did not. I didn't do it. No, it's not true." And Kagome's like, "Inuyasha, stop being a jerk. Sit. Sit. The donk." And he um, gets sat. And and the kittens get get food. They do. Um, num, 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 num. Very kitty like as they were trying to climb up this girl the entire time. God, it's such cat behavior. Meow, meow. It's such cat behavior. But yeah, that is uh, that's the end of this episode. Um, there's no trivia this week, so we'll talk about what's happening next time. Ooh. We're gonna talk about episode 92, which is the plot of The Walking Dead. So zombies Not are sensical. overtaking Atlanta, and then mm-hmm. eventually the the greater world. And, you know, we have these these this various group of survivors that are going to show up, and that's what the entire show is going to revolve around. And there's going to be some spinoffs here and there. Norman Reedus is involved. Um, yeah. He just, he's, you know, he's there. He's doing his Norman Reedus shtick of just... Just making the same thing. Just face. existing. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually he gets his own spinoff show and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then one of the dudes from The Walking Dead ends up in Tekken. So, you know, it's just a whole thing. It's what's gonna so we're week. gonna find out about all of that in 24 minutes next time on Inuyasha. This is gonna be a coral meme at one point. Coral meme. Yeah, because of the way he says Carl, it's coral. Oh, I watched like one episode of that show, so. Well, I mean, it was a, it was a, not a good meme, but it was a meme nonetheless. Anyway. But yes, that's what we're talking about next week. Uh, but for now, that's going to do it for us this week. So if you'd like more from us, head on over to SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com or SCC.cool is where you can find past episodes of this podcast and other podcasts like Seasonal Anime Checkup OVA. You'll also find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you'd like more from Anladium, go to Anladium.com. She's got columns and reviews. You can follow us on Twitter and TikTok at Anime Checkup. Follow us on Blue Sky at SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com. And you can buy our books, One Shiny Moment, a critical analysis of Love, Life, Sunshine, Hot Tubs, and Pac-Man on Amazon.com. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So join us next week as we learn about all of The Walking Dead. All The Walking Dead.